John is the CIO of CityPoint Corporation, and much like every security pro, he's stressed out about ransomware and cyber attacks. He's even dreaming about it at night. You see, one fateful afternoon, John returned to his office after a meeting and was met with a dozen missed phone calls and text messages. There were more alerts than he could keep up with. In the five minutes between leaving his meeting and sitting back down, the IT team discovered they'd been hacked. And to make matters worse, there were clear signs that bad actors had been successfully collecting CityPoint's data for over a week, his worst nightmare. John needed to figure out how to move forward, pay the ransom or not. He also worried about alerting authorities and customers and if his organization was going to be hit with fines. As days turned into weeks, John and an internal task force tried to undo the damage and figure out where things went wrong. Eventually, they found the cause. A privileged credential had been compromised. And because CityPoint didn't have automated systems, the bad actor had time to do some serious damage before a manual search found evidence of the breach. John considered their investments in a firewall and enforcing use of VPNs. He thought CityPoint was safe. The next day, one of his peers suggested he speak with Improvata. John saw that Improvata helps healthcare facilities like his prevent unauthorized user access and lateral movement with multi-factor authentication, identity governance and administration, privileged access management, and vendor privileged access management. John considered how powerful multi-factor authentication could be if a credential is stolen. No second factor of authentication, no access. He also thought about how much identity governance and administration could help him automate the entire access rights lifecycle to ensure users are only provisioned with enough access to do their jobs and nothing more. But the best way to prevent credentials from being stolen in the first place? Not sharing them with users. Privileged access management would give CityPoint the ability to store and encrypt credentials so that they're unknown to users, making them impossible trophies for hackers. And because many users aren't internal, John could lock down access, providing vendors and other external users with monitored zero-trust network access. This would minimize risks associated with traditional remote access methods. John turned his nightmare into his best case scenario. And just like John, you can mitigate ransomware without compromising access efficiency, compliance, and IT resources. John will sleep well tonight. Will you?